What's up guys, uh, Heat King here bringing you a reaction, a live reaction to this month's Attack on Titan. Remember guys to like and subscribe please as always. So yeah, Attack on Titan chapter 138. Last month's chapter was pretty much very Armin focused and if you know Armin you know he's a very hopeful character, okay? So that was the entire theme of last month's chapter. This month's chapter appears to be focused from what I've heard in the leaks. It's supposed to be very focused on Mikasa and the whole, uh, you know, her whole theme of life is cruel. So, if, you know, everything turned out very good last month and apparently things are going to go very bad in this month's chapter. And then obviously next month, the final chapter next month will be very air and focused apparently. So, with the way things have been going and moving. So that kind of makes sense and I can kind of see what Isayama's going for. Like, he gave us that Guardians of, of the Galaxy ending that he said he was going to do with last month. And it seems that this month we're getting that missed ending. Which is potentially going to piss off a lot of people or make everyone happy. Because a lot of people, it's weird. It's weird how the fan base is divided on, on how they wanted the series to end. Me, personally, I don't mind how it ends as long as it ends good. I didn't mind last month's chapter. I, I had a lot of fun with last month's chapter. If, if it ended with, with, the good, with the good guys winning, I wouldn't have minded. But I do want some tragedy. I do want some death. And I do want... I, I, I need that oomph there that makes it like, you know, all hope is lost before the final blow is struck and, and the good guys win. But I, I, overall, I wanted a bittersweet ending. But yeah, apparently we're getting that now. Like, because apparently this chapter is a doozy and it's like, it's a big like, oh, you thought it was over? No, no. So yeah, I'm curious to see what what's actually going to happen. I'm curious to see who's going to bite the dust and uh, how, how they're going to bite the dust and that. I'm curious because apparently people are hurt like they're really sad in a good way but they're sad like they didn't expect this this to sort of be the way that it's going to end like so that's very unexpected me i've been predicting for a while now that mikasa is going to kill Eren. okay that's my prediction that mikasa is going to kill him so I'm, I'm expecting that to happen but yeah well we'll we'll see we'll see if that happens or not so let's go for it then let's start with the chapter then so chapter 138 a long dream and immediately, page one, we start with the baby. Is it Historia's baby? Nope, it's the baby from that chapter that was being held up. Like, the mother gave it to people and she fell off the cliff. So, it's that baby. It's alive. Hope is still there. It's with the uh, Marlian people, the Eldian Marlians, I guess. That, and we cut into that big panel of colossal titans overlooking this entire crowd. And there's still people falling off the... Uh, well, then, yeah, they're falling off the cliff, cliff. You got one guy hanging on, and other people trying to pull him up. Other people careful not to falling over. And moving on to page two, and it's uh, Raina's mom. She's on the ground. She's sad. There's smoke and mist in the air. And there's people in the mist. What was what was that? It was a bone. Hey, are you okay? <sighs> they're looking. They're looking. It was a bone. What does that mean? It was a bone. Where's all this mist and smoke coming from? It was a bone. So yeah, uh, Raina's mom looks up, and I think I think that's Gabby's parents as well. They look up, and there's Falco coming in and landing uh, on them. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah, they're, they're on the fort. They're landing on the fort now. And yeah, the the rumbling has stopped basically. And in the distance, you can see the giant crater where Aaron's uh, head would have been. Uh, it's collapsed. You can kind of see that it's it's broken off and sort of collapsed basically, like the tight that Aaron's titan form. Uh, yeah, uh, look, the bones are disappearing. The rumbling stopped. And there we get a good panel of Levi, Connie. He's got like a little blood dripping from his head. Uh, Jean, and behind him is Gabby and Peckham. And there's Mikasa holding on. And uh, yeah, is Aaron dead? I mean, Jean's asking, "Is Aaron dead?" And Mikasa's like, Ugh. "She's she's getting a headache. And she's seeing something. She's seeing she's getting flashes. She's getting flashes. Headaches. What's going on? She's seeing Aaron. An Ackerman with its power tends to get headaches often. Just a slave with no free will." I have always. Oh, this is the conversation they had where Aaron was explaining that, uh, uh, like he was explaining what the Ackermans were technically, like that they were that they were slaves, always following that Pacific Eldian or whatever, if you will. Uh, it can't be because it's like the last thing I heard. Always hated you. No way. She's remembering that conversation. There's the panel about all the parents. Well, there's Gabby's parents, Raina's mom, and I'm assuming Annie's dad. They're all they're all standing there looking up at Falcom's back with the others on it. There's Peckham and Gabby looking. Gabby, Gabby seen her. I'm assuming that's Gabby's parents, and there's Raina's parents behind. Uh, Raina's mom behind her. Gabby sees them. She's right. She's rushing to her parents, all happy and shit. Mikasa looks at her, and there's Gabby crying with her parents, and there's there's Peckham's dad. 
and Peckham sees him and she's running to him and she's hugging him. And then there's Falco's, there's Falco's parents, and there's Gabby pointing to to Falco. I think as his dad and mama coming in, and there's Falco coming out of his Titan form. He's reaching out to them, and they rushed him, and they're hugging him. Happy ending for everyone, I guess. It's a happy ending, and there's there's Connie supporting Levi and Jean and Mikasa. We have our regrets, but we, as Connie saying this, we stop the rumbling for sure. Yeah, everyone's reuniting, and there's there's Annie. Trying to find her dad, I'm assuming. We don't know what happened between that standoff between the uh, the Malians and the uh, Eldians. They're looking, wow. Ha, ha, Annie's just like screaming, like, she's, how did you get here? And Raina's mom, Mr. Lionheart, led all of us here. Your father. And yeah, Annie seems surprised, and she's pointing to the tower. Go! And there's Annie rushing off. And Gabby's, Karina. Uh, Raina is still fighting. Yeah, and I saw. Okay, yeah, Raina's not back because he's with Armin, isn't it? They're at the they're at the crater, basically, where Eren is. And that shine and that shiny centipede. There's Gabby. They're all looking over the the cliff now. Where's Raina? And there's Mikasa Armin. Because yeah, Armin blew himself. He blew. He he transformed. So yeah, there's the panel. There's the colossal titan coming out of the crater. It's coming out of the smoke. And there's Raina on the ground. He's got like he's got like three spears in him. Jesus. Like he's armored for him, and as Gabby sees that Rainer, and Regine's like he's okay, and Connie's like, hey, look there. It's still alive after the explosion. Wait, what? What the hell is that thing? The centipede's not dead. The centipede's not dead. What? It's 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 got into the fort like like it's it's hit the fort and it's sort of on the on the on the mountainscape of it like and it's how is it not dead? The explosion didn't kill that thing. And there's Armin just walking, and there's Raina getting back up, like, he's still got, like, arrows and spears in him. I don't know, but it's too dangerous to leave it alive. Another explosion from behind Armin. Armin looks, and Raina looks, oh, good. I knew you weren't gonna die from that. Jean's like, I knew you, yeah, but, Connie's like, yeah, but, Mika, so, what should we do? Oh, Raina's gotten up, uh, Aaron's gotten up, sorry, and... Holy crap, he's, his form looks so different here, he's got, like, a Colossus form. What the hell is going on? Is this... Is this just like him combining uh, the founding, the Warhammer or whatever together to create that form? Like, there's Eren just rising up like a freaking, yeah, like a colossal titan, basically. How the hell is he still alive? Jesus! Gabby, this is, this is bad. Uh, keep away from that shiny thing. Like, she's screaming, keep away from that shiny thing. We don't know what's going to happen. She's telling everyone, like, the group. And the rumbling starts up again. The rumbling might st oh no, it might start again, it hasn't started yet. It's and Connie's like, it's him. We have to kill the centipede. And Levi, it survived the explosion, how can we kill it? We and, and, and Is it Jean talking? We have to go after, oh, Levi's talking, we have to go after Aaron. It's not over until he's dead, this nightmare. And there's Peckham with her dad, dad, there's still something left to do. And Falcon to his parents, I'll make my brother proud. Ah oh, man, remembering Colt. Yeah, they're crying because I think they now they now know he's dead. I think he told them. That's why they're crying. Jesus. And there's Mikasa with the headaches again. Why? Why must things end like this? And there's Armin confronting Eren. So two colosses for the first time confronting each other. Well, wow, how's this fight gonna be? Like, how are they gonna fight? Like little slow punches, like like, oh my god. Armin's looking and there's there's the centipede, like it's next to Raina, like and Ra Raina's just like, what? Oh my god, it's unleashing steam. It's unleashing steam. Oh guys, if you remember, this is what Zeke did. He went to Ranko Village, Connie's village, and he unleashed this whole steam with his spinal fluid and it trudged everyone into Titans, and there's the steam coming out. What? Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. If, if they're not wearing gas masks, they're all gonna freaking inhale that. And now we're cutting to uh, Annie's dad. It's like, and there's a guy. Did you hurt your leg? No, it's been that way. Thank you. And uh, is that who is that? Is that the El no? The, the soldiers are helping the audience. What's going on? If you didn't bomb from the sky, if you didn't bomb from the sky, we'd be trying to kill each other. So can you stand? So the the soldiers are helping the audience, and the audience are helping. Can you stand? He's injured. Uh, there's a Titan coming. Help me with the cannon. Oh my God. We've made this is I think this is the Mar this is the Marlene commander who's like trying to like we've made enough mistakes. Let's take care of this together. Yeah. Dad. Oh Annie's there. She sees her dad. Uh, Mr. Lionheart sees her and there's Annie. Annie? 
He see, she sees him, he sees her, and there's the smoke and the mist coming. Oh, shit. It hits Annie, it hits her dad. The Malian dude is like holding his... The smoke's just going into the fort. Oh, my God. And, and Armin notices that, like, that smoke. And Raina, what is that? Oh, shit. They're all breathing it. Oh, Jesus. Connie, uh, Jean, and... It's from that shiny Gabby. It's that. From, it's that. It's from that shiny thing. In Mikasa, is it dead? Gony, no. It doesn't smell like a dead Titan. Isn't this the same thing as Rongeko Village? Oh shit. Mikasa, oh shit. Jean and Mikasa like look at Connie and they realize and Levi, Mikasa, Peckham, get on Falcon. We're getting out of here. And Falcon's like, what? What are you, Peckham? What are you talking about? Ackermans and shifters are an exception. You should know what to do. No way. That's Hori. Oh, oh, they're leaving them behind. Oh my god, no, no. Alright guys, part two, we're back. Uh, just had my late breakfast. Technically it would be considered lunch, I think. Anyway, we left off with the smoke rising up. And Levi realized this, he realized this, and he got Falcon, Peckham, and Mikasa because they're the only ones who, and, and, and we're along with Annie, I'm assuming maybe, whereas, I know Annie's not with them, shit, she's back there. So yeah, he, Levi realizes this. Ackermans and Shifters are an exception, you should know what to do. It's Hori. And oh, yeah, the Rem 3 just got onto Falcon and they're flying off. And got Mikasa's holding onto Peckham, she's holding her back, she's reaching out. Fa Falco just like, yeah, he just got that grim face, like that. Like, I don't believe it face, that look. And there's Jean, Connie, looking on. There's Gabby with, with her parents. And there's Falco's parents hugging it out. Yeah, they're, they're dead. They're all gonna die. And, and, and Ga God, Gabby's looking. She sees it, she's looking out. She's looking at our Falco and them leaving. And there's Falco screaming. He's screaming, there's like light in his mouth. What's going on there? And there's Connie just so. And, oh man, um, oh man, that's just sad, man. Um, Connie and Gina are hugging out like they got their hands on their backs, man. Like, <laughs> so this this is the end for us. They're leaving it to us. That's Gene. That's the scout's way. Connie, do you remember Gene during our graduation? Yeah. We ended up saving the world because of you. Oh god, and... Oh man, like... <laughs> oh, uh... oh, oh man, and Annie didn't even get to say hi, like, anything to her dad. She didn't even get to hug him, and everyone just transformed instantly. Everyone's transforming, everyone, oh god, oh god, it's just, it's just chaos, it's just chaos, the tower, the buildings in the area just all exploded from within. Oh, uh, Levi, me, me, Kasa, <laughs> Peckham see this, and the Titan, oh man, the Titans are falling off the, the mountain top, the founding, the falling off the mountain base, and Raina sees this, and she's just, no way, and Armin sees this, how is this even possible? And Annie, man, she's taking cover, trying to protect herself. And Oka, Oka, Yopun, Oka, Oka, your coupon is. I not say his name. So many chapters, and I still don't know how to say his name. Even watching the anime, I still forget it. Uh, Oka, Oka, I'm just gonna say that Oka, Yopun, he's, he's behind a, like he's behind like a debris, like behind one of the walls. Like, hey, are you okay, to Annie? What the hell just happened? And he's just smacking the ground. He's like, Dad. She looks up, and there's the Marlian soldiers just running for it. And, and oh man, one of them is pulling that captain, dude, captain! And the, and the Eldians see it and, uh, and they're falling off, they're falling off the mountain, oh god, and there's that centipede worm. It's not even connected to Eren anymore! It's not even connected to Eren anymore, so how the hell is, is everything still going? How is this thing still connected? What is going on here? And, and Raina, Raina, he sees it, the, 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 this fucker summoned an army. It summoned an army. This thing summoned the army. Like, don't you dare! You're going. You're not going past me. Oh my God! Raider's facing the centipede, man. He's facing that parasite thing. Something just hit. Ra what the hell? Something just hit Raina. What? What just hit Raina? Did 
They're all running at speed towards Raynard. I think they just rushed him. They rushed into him. Oh god, man! And there's, there's, there's. Yeah, you can see we got the panel now. We got the panel. And there's, there's, there's Armin facing uh, 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 Aaron, and Aaron's got that long ass hair just going down. And in the background, you can see Raynard holding onto the senti spine. He's holding onto it. You really love this hell, huh, Aaron? Let me, uh, mom. All right, I'll follow you till the end. And no, yeah, they're duking it out. They're duking it out. One hand, like going, like an underneath the arm. Armin's arm going off the knee there, and, and Aaron's arm going off the knee, underneath his thighs. They're fighting it out. They're duking it out. And Rainer, man, he's screaming. He's oh no, no, no! He's grabbing onto the centipede worm, and there's Connie and Jean and Gabby in their Titan forms. And his mum, oh Connie, oh god, and Jean, he's got like this wide ass smile. And there's Gabby, like you can tell, and there's his mum in the background, why? Connie, Jean, Gabby, why mum? Someone's jumping off, who's... Peckham, she just jumped off Falco, they're going for Raynor, they're trying to save him, I think. Peckham just, she just did that, she's jumping down. She's transformed into the, into the cart Titan, and she bites into the senti spite, and oh my god. Oh my god, Jean, Gabby, Connie, and his mom are rushing Raina back up. And where's where's Annie? Is Annie there? I think Annie's there, because like uh, uh, Peckham, Raina's thinking there's and, I th and there's a shot of Annie, I think Annie. Is that Annie? I don't know. I don't know if that's I think it is Annie. When there's Annie when and uh Like in the background you've got Aaron and uh, Armin duking it out. There's there's Raynor holding onto the thing to the worm and he's getting he's get he's getting swarmed and there's Peckham at the top of the worm's head biting into it and in the back and, and, and further down you've got Addy holding onto it. When will he pay for it? And there's Falco just flying in the background while all of this chaos is happening. Oh my god, oh my god, and like, Mikasa keeps getting the headaches. Ah uh, Mikasa, get your shit together, like Levi, we're the only ones that can kill Aaron. And Mikasa just like like she's remembering Aaron when he was a kid. I can't take this anymore. She's screaming like and then Levi's screaming to her, and, and she—it's like she's not hearing him. I want to go back, and she's shedding tears back to her home. And it's like she's sleeping. She's standing while she's sleeping, and suddenly she wakes up. Mikasa, get up! She she opens her eyes, and there's Le there's there's Aaron. This almost feels like a parallel to the first chapter when Mikasa was waking Aaron up. You'll catch a cold. Aaron? He's got like, is that a fishing rod, whatever, in his hand? Huh? When? Did I fall asleep? They're at, they're at home? No, they're at Mikasa's home? What is this? No, they're older. They're not even kids. They're older. They're like, they're, they're teenage forms, I think. They're in, they're in, in the woods. There's a cabin. She's, she's, uh, Mikasa's sitting down next, in, outside a cabin. And there's, there's Aaron chopping wood. You must have been really tired. Feels like I just had a long dream. Let's just, Aaron's just like, let's just rest today. We caught a big fish. He looks at her. Mikasa, why are you crying? Oh my god, this is an exact parallel of chapter one. Mikasa, huh? She's just... Why? I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be here. What the hell's going on here? Is this like an alternative world she's seeing? Like a parallel universe? If, if certain things had been different? And, and Aaron gets up and he's like... He's got short hair and everything here. Well, we can't do anything about it. What? Since we abandoned everything and ran away like this, abandoned everything and ran away. Oh my god. Oh my god, is this one Eren Art? Is this is this Mikasa's like what if this had happened? And I'm assuming, yeah, I'm assuming because we always wondered what would have happened if, if Mikasa had given Eren a different answer. We abandoned everything and ran away like this. It's been two months since the war against Marlene ended. They'll invade paradise soon. And then Aaron's just look at we all we all die if we don't run. Armin is probably looking for us. I made Historia live through hell and couldn't make up my mind between breeding livestock and genocide. Let's just live the rest of my four years peacefully, just just the two of us. This was This was what you said, Mikasa. Yeah, it's back in that moment when Eren asked her, like, what am I to you? And Mikasa just said, your family. She didn't say, I... 
Is it trying to say that if Mikasa had given, and I've always said this, I've even wanted this, if Mikasa had given a different response, it's very likely Eren's decisions would have been very different from that moment on. The only reason he went, a uh, went ahead with the genocide is because of everything that was going on with Historia and because of Mikasa just not giving him that answer. Like, he was hoping. He was hoping she would give him a different answer, but she didn't. And he knew because he saw the future, so he knew what her answer would be, and it it broke him. And I think that's why he said he hates her. That moment when he when he, when, when, when he confronted them and he said that he hates her, I think I think it's a case of I hate you because you 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 when when the moment came, when the moment came for you to confess your love to me, you didn't admit it. You didn't say it. So you know you didn't admit you didn't admit your feelings. You you didn't admit you, what your true feelings were. You weren't sure of it yourself, and this is the result. Like, wow, man, that's messed up. Like, if if that's what could have happened. And she's smiling in this memory. Yeah, sorry, I promised not to talk about this. And she's hugging him. Aaron's like, can you promise me promise me one thing? When I die, throw the scarf away. You'll live you'll live long after I'm gone and forget about me and be free. Oh man. Now there's, there's like a bird flying up above them. And Aaron's got the Titan. He's got the Titan uh, tattoos appearing on his face now suddenly. Please, Mikasa, forget about me. And now we're cutting to the present and there's... Oh man, Aaron is just punching Armin in the face. Like, he's got... He's harder than his fists as well. He's got the harding ability and he's punching the... Punching Armin in the face and Mikasa's just like, sorry. Like Peckham is still eating on, and and the others are eating or grabbing onto her, and 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 uh, they eat. And Jean, Jean, uh, uh, Jean, Gabby, and Connie are biting into Reina. Oh my God, they're getting slaughtered. They're getting slaughtered, and Annie is like getting overwhelmed and slaughtered. Mikasa takes out the scarf. She takes up and she wraps it around her head. Oh God, I can't. Erin is in the Erin. Ah, oh, she's talking. Erin is in the mouth. I'll kill him. Help me do it. She's telling me Falcom and Falco and Levi this. Help me do it. And Levi's like, got it. Oh man, they jumped off Falco. Levi and Mikasa just jumped off Falco and they're free falling. Are they using their spears? I don't think are they using the the wires? I don't think so. Jesus. So yeah guys, uh reaching the end I believe. Uh so yeah, they jumped off Falco and they're flying straight towards uh Air Air its face. Um, Levi's got one of the <laughs> he's got one of the thunder spears now like usually he's always with the sword but now now the rules are reversed and he's got the thunder spear and uh, Mikasa's got the blades now uh, all right got it Mikasa and, and Ar Armin's just like holding on he's grabbing onto Eren's head he's holding it into position while while did Eren's punch just go through his head I think it did it might have gone through his head through uh, Eren's fist might have gone through Armin's head man and he's holding onto Eren's head like that and, and, and Mikasa is just diving in along with uh, Le Levi underneath the arm like I can't tell if Mikasa is running on Eren's arm like, like that or well yeah yeah Armin's holding on to Eren he's like he's holding on to him like you know what I mean Levi shoots the thunder spear it's going into the mouth it's going into Eren's face it hits it explodes Mikasa just blasting through there's a hole, there's a gap in the teeth now. She, she, he, he, Levi blew the teeth and she goes in and she's in. She's in the mouth and there's Aaron's head. Oh my god, it's like a snake, like a spine thing. It's inside. It's, it, it reminds me of Alien, like with a xenomorph, like, ah, ah. And that's what it is. There's Aaron's head and then he's got like a little head in there, like, ah, like <laughs> if, it, if it was the tongue, Jesus, and it's all connected with little wires and shit, like, oh, and she raises the. She raises a blade and she literally goes for it. Oh my god! And there's Aaron looking at her. Just nothing. There's just no expression there. Like, and now we're cutting back to Mikasa's little flat, like little alternative universe. And and Aaron is sitting down now, and Mikasa's like looking at him. See you later, Aaron. She's like, hold. She's caressing his head. Oh my god! What the hell? She's holding. Oh my god! She's holding Aaron's head. That is such a weird freaking image, man. She's holding Eren's head. And Mikasa's kissing it. And behind her is Ymir. Like OG Ymir. To the boy who sought freedom. Goodbye. What the hell? Is that how it ends? What the hell? Well, I know what my thumbnail cover's gonna be. 
You've been looking at a bitch, but I don't care. That is so weird, though. I mean, oh god, what can I say about this chapter, man? I can't believe Gene and Connie are dead, man. That was sad. Like. Death needed to happen. We needed a loss. It couldn't it couldn't just end like the way it did, okay? If it did, I wouldn't have minded, but like this this story started off with tragedy. Okay, and you can't you can't end it without there being more tragedy. And we got it. We got it with this chapter. For anyone who was like sort of pissed off last last month for the way it ended, this chapter just pretty much came and said, nope. Nope, there is not going to be a happy ending with this. People are going to die, and like me, uh, Isayama pretty much went for his missed ending here. Like, like half, half the half the characters are dead now, basically. Um, uh, because I, I don't see how they're going to transform back. You can't tell me that they're going to kill the worm somehow, and that they're magically going to transform back. I don't think that's going to happen. I don't know what that worm. It, it's an it's a prehistoric parasitic worm. That's what it is, and it, and it's causing all of this crap to happen, and it and it shot off all that steam. All that crap happened. But yeah, I think those guys are dead. I just and what the hell happened to Okuyopu? He was he was we see we see we know Annie transformed and, and was trying to hold her back. We don't know what happened to him. We don't know what happened to the soldiers. Maybe she rescued him. Maybe she rescued them. I don't know. But they they they're screwed. I'm assuming. Like everything was turning up fine. The Eldian army was actually like like with the people that were helping the Eldians, and then this happens. Like it just made it worse. And Ymir is smiling. I'm looking at this last panel, Ymir is smiling. She's smiling at Mikasa kissing Eren, like, what the hell's going on here, man? I read the leaks before when I heard this, like, and then and then they, they were sort of wrong, so, and then I read another leaks that sort of talked about this, and I was like, okay, it's a bit weird, like, why is this happening? Like, it wasn't making any sense, really. I could, like, I read different things that sort of said this happens and this happens, but yeah, I didn't, I, I actually didn't expect it to end like this. I honestly thought it was going to be, like, a confrontation, because this, this kind of reminds me of uh, a Tokyo Ghoul Red with Kenaki... Uh, confronting what's her name? Like uh, I don't even know. I don't even remember that character's name, man. The, the girl that turned him into her, that bit into him, and she and he took her organs in it. Like, and at the end, he confronts her and he kills her and, and he stops the entire uh, giant worm thing that was going on. Um, but yeah, this. Uh, it, it, I've been saying for ages that Mikasa was going to kill Eren, and it happened. So. But this parallel universe, uh, is this a parallel universe? Is this what could have happened if Mikasa had said, I love you to Eren? Like, what am I to you? Yo, I love you. I, I, yo, I, you, you are who I want to spend my life with. And yeah, things could have been very different if Mikasa had just given in to her feelings back then. Things could have been very different. As, as it stands, like... It, it almost feels like, it almost feels like those uh, stories where, like, like, you don't confess when you have the chance to do it finally and you don't get your happy your happily ever after like that could have been it that could have been the moment that could have changed everything and instead this is what it led up to and we have no idea what happened with historia we don't know if she survived childbirth we still don't know if erin is the father i'm assuming it is it has to be and just, just the same way like i said the same way that last chapter like uh, chapter 137 was armin's chapter and all about hope this chapter is about Mikasa and her facing, you know, that reality that life is cruel. That whole theme of her, that life is cruel and it is cruel. Just when they thought they won, things got worse. And it's just a reminder that, yeah, life is always cruel. And, you you know, in order to win, you have to be strong and you have to fight. And that's what Mikasa did. She fought. And in a way, both, you know, in a way, Eren was right about her being a slave. Like... In terms of the fact, like she can't let Eren go, but she did kill him. So in a way, she did make that choice. So in a way, it's not completely slick. He was also wrong at the same time. But yeah, I'm curious to see what Eren's POV is going to be because while 100% next month Attack on Titan is ending, and while 100% going to be getting Eren's POV on this, we're finally going to get some bloody answers, I imagine. And it's probably going to make us rethink all of this. Eren 100% didn't want to do this. He did not want to kill his friends. He didn't want to turn his friends into titans. It happened. Collateral damage. That's what it is. And it sucks, man. It sucks. But prediction-wise, I do think oh, what's going to happen is Eren... 
Reyna. Reyna's gonna die. Okay, he's gonna let Gabby eat him, and she will she will finally get the armor tie. That was that's been her character arc, like since since we first got introduced to her. Like she wanted to be the best warrior, so she could get the armor tie, and just she could inherit it. And I imagine that's what's gonna happen. Reyna is gonna sacrifice himself for his cousin. She's gonna eat him. She's gonna be, get the armor tie abilities. And then of course that leaves uh. Gene and Connie is 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 Annie and Peckham gonna allow themselves to die? I don't think so. I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't think they're even gonna let their parents eat them if it came down to it. Because like at this point, what's the point? They're all people. Like they're not gonna live that long. I guess I don't know. Like it's it, it's um, then again maybe they can. I don't know. It's where everyone's gonna die because the way things are going, that that uh, Guardians of the Galaxy inspired ending that uh, Is Isayama said he was gonna do. After he said he wasn't going to do the mist ending that he was inspired by, I think he, he did it. Okay, he did it, and then he gave us the mist ending, basically, which is ironic because it, it was basically a, a, a steam of mist, whatever, that turned everyone into this. So I could, uh, I could kind of see now why he was going. He was. I can kind of see now why he said he was inspired by the mist, especially. I think he said he was inspired mainly by the movie, the mist, the movie version of of, of that story, where, where, where you think it, it's all going to be fine. Oh, but in, but then at the last second it isn't, and the main character ends up uh, he ends up uh, killing all the people with him just so they won't suffer. But then you get the big twist that no, uh, in fact it wasn't the monsters coming out of the mist. It was it was the good guys. They they were going to be saved, and he just has a mental breakdown realizing that he just killed um, his son and everyone else when they were just about to be saved. Like, and I I, I don't know. I just said that's the ending he was inspired by. So I'm wondering if this is it. Like. But it's like a reversal. He gave us that uh, hopeful ending, only to take it away and give us this cruel ending, basically. And now we're gonna get that bittersweet ending next month. I'm assuming this was a good chapter. This was a good chapter. It was unexpected. I'm hoping that when this is animated, that there will be a bit more action there, at least with Armin um, versus um, Aaron. But yeah, um, yeah, it's it's done. It's done. Like. At, at this point, it's just an aftermath. Like, how is it? How is this all going to conclude? Because that worm thing is still alive. Like, is is killing Eren going to stop the rumbling? Because the rumbling wasn't happening. It was stopped. It seemed like it had stopped. Killing Zeke stopped it, but Eren was still alive. And that worm thing is still alive, and it can infect everyone. We just saw that giant thing literally can infect the entire world with its steam. So it needs to die. But does killing Eren stop it, or or what? Like, who's connected to who at this point? Do you know what I mean? But yeah, that's that. That sucks, man. It sucks. I really, I, I, I'd read, I'd read what would happen to Gene and Connie, man. But seeing that, seeing that moment where they're just like, sort of like, just like, man, like brothers to brothers, just uh, hugging each other out, sort of like that. That broke me, man. Like that broke me. Like I didn't think that would. That's how they were gonna go out. I didn't think that's how they would go out. Or like, uh, or that's the word. That that the final words would be that like. Wow, uh, it hurts, man. But uh, it had to happen. Like, um, like I said, you, you this this story couldn't go with the way it was going with just with just them getting injured. That there had to be some sort of death. And I know some people are gonna say, well, maybe they're gonna turn back. I don't. They're not gonna turn back. If they do, if they turn back, then everything that this chapter just did loses its meaning. It loses its meaning. Like, uh, we they wanted a happy ending, they didn't get it. it. It's done. That's life. Life is cruel. That's that's the message here. Sometimes there's hope, and sometimes hope gets taken away. And now the next, like I said, next chapter, it's Aaron's POV, and I'm assuming the theme of freedom and what that means. But yeah, um, very sad chapter, man. Very good, a very sad, unexpected chapter. And uh, yeah, I can't wait for next month, guys. This is it. We're, we're in the end game now. This is it. And uh, part one of the anime is ending as well, I'm assuming. I'm assuming we'll get in part two, but yeah, crazy, crazy. I hope you like my reaction, guys. Um, as always, like and subscribe. Whatever. And I shall see you when I shall see you. Ugh, I hope I'm doing the salute right. God, I think I did it wrong, didn't I? <laughs> Take care, guys, and bye.